This is the Sunday Business Page with John Delano. Good morning, I'm John Delano. Welcome to another edition of the Sunday Business Page. And our very special guest is James Santelli, who is with the Regional Asset District, or RAD. And I'm sure folks are asking, what is that, James? So tell us, what is RAD? Well, RAD is a great entity. A lot of the things that make living in Pittsburgh and living in Allegheny County great are part of RAD. So every year, RAD takes the 1% sales tax in Allegheny County. Half of that goes to all of the municipalities, city government, county government. And the other half is RAD, goes to support our local parks, libraries, cultural attractions, arts and culture organizations. And this year we've got about 99 different regional assets that are all uh, looking to be part of RAD's funding for 2023. So let me ask you exactly how much money does this 1% sales tax bring in and is it growing or dropping given the economy? It's definitely been growing through the last few years. You know, pandemic in 2020, we had a drop down of about five and a half percent, but then grew back big time in 2021 and 2022. So for 2023, our board and our staff has looked at economic trends, consulted with you know, fiscal watchdogs, the Department of Revenue, Independent Fiscal Office, expecting a soft hit for sales tax revenue in 2023 but still very strong and looking to receive about $240 million total, as we mentioned, about half to the municipalities and about a half to rats. That makes about $120 million. So $120 million is a lot of money. And you allocated, if I understand correctly, to lots of different organizations in Pittsburgh. How do you get on the list to get some of this money? Well, most of them have been on the list in prior years. And so our staff is very diligent in keeping with these assets. It's, uh, like I said, 99 of them for 2023. And really, you have to show you know any number of things, but really that you are deserving of being called a regional asset, that you're supporting a lot of people, that a lot of people are going to your events or using your parks or you know what have you. And so this year, every single one of those 99 assets went before our board, said, here's our application, here's how much we're looking for, and that all gets under consideration, and we've come out with this preliminary budget. If I understand correctly, this preliminary budget, and I've seen some of the numbers, uh, I wanted first, though, to have you identify some of these organizations. We know like the zoo, the FIPS, the National Aviary. Um, some of the libraries. Give us a sense. Name names. Tell us who some of the recipients are of this money under your proposed budget. Sure. Well, the three you named there were kind of back in the day what RAD was originally created for. There was a, a fear that the zoo and FIPS and the aviary might close when they were just line items on the city budget. And so RAD and its creation helped make sure that didn't happen. And these organizations are stronger than ever. But actually, the majority of the money goes to Allegheny County Parks. City of Pittsburgh Parks, every library within CLP and the Allegheny County Library Association. That's the majority of the money. And then on down from there, we've got great entities that make living in Allegheny County great. Pittsburgh Symphony Orchestra, Pittsburgh Cultural Trust, the Children's Museum of Pittsburgh, Manchester Craftsman's Guild, you know, on down the list. And everything down to, you know, small symphonic bands and choral groups that show they're worthy of our support. It's just a very small number in the grand scheme of things, maybe only you know three thousand or four thousand dollars. But for a small arts group, it's important. We only have about thirty seconds left, but I know that there's also something called a rad day, where some of these folks that are getting our tax dollars actually open up for free. Is that right? That's correct. And we've been going on through the last few weeks here. Sunday is the final day of Radical Days 2022, but I encourage people to check out radworkshere.org. I know the Frick is going to be open from 10 to 5 today for free. So see what the final events are for this year and, and keep tabs on our website and our social media. We'll have more events coming in the future. Well, James Santelli from the Regional Asset District, thank you, sir, very much for spending time with us today. We've really enjoyed it. Thank you. John, it was a great pleasure. Thank you. And thank you for watching this edition of the Sunday Business Page. Have a great Sunday, everybody.